All right, guys, unboxing time. We have a few watches here. Well, four, technically. So let's start off with the Seiko. Big thanks to my buddy Greg for sending these over. He always sends some of the best examples of the watch collecting hobby for video review and most, most cases they end up going on the chopping block. So this is a Seiko, gosh, I'm so bad with my Seiko numbers now. You guys are probably screaming at me when numbered. So it's a SPDC 139. There should be an SPB number as well, but I don't know what it is. But this is the, um, I think this is a limited edition if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is a limited edition. Probably a bunch of them though. Um, and it's in between a date change, so bear with me. A misaligned dive bezel might bother you, but a Seiko in between the date change bugs the heck out of me for some reason. So I have to get it past that. There we go. Now I can sleep at night. Okay, here we go. We'll set that off to the side. Beautiful looking watch. Let's do the Notice next. I'm a huge fan of Notice. I have one them myself and I could see adding more. This is the Retrospect 3, which is one of the best watches in their lineup. Um, as far as like comfort, just overall look and design, I think it is a, a design that, although very simple, really, if you look at it, it's a fairly simple looking design. I'm not saying it is simple, but it's a simple looking design, but it's just, it works. And I feel like it really resonates with uh, me personally, and there's so many great colorways. I don't really care for the salmon, as pink colored way, but I know a lot of people do. All right, let's look at this guy. G-Shock. Well, you guys already recognize the case. This is going to be a titanium variant. And this is one that I have not handled. So, again, I forget the part number, but we will figure that out when we do it. And that pillow is like soft feeling. It's softer than my pillow in my bed. Okay, so check out the camo job on that. It's like a nice, sharp, angular camo with silver, black, and... Whatever color that is, I don't know what color we call that, but and then there's pops of orange on there. Yeah, I'm a fan. Uh, very, very cool looking watch. Oh, they went with the holes. Oh, I think the TVA did that too, where they went with the holes all the way through instead of just the divots. They actually just went all the way through. Hmm, hold on a second. All right, let me think about that. Okay, so last is a Tudor Black Bay Bronze. These are also really cool. They're 43 millimeter variant in the bronze for these guys. So this one's cool. I think there was even a limited edition one. This is not the limited edition one. Um, and then there's a bunch of extra straps for this thing too. Um, there's there's one down here, and then he's got a whole bag full of straps. He like fully accessorized this thing. So here's the black one with the matching hardware, and then here is this is a custom strap, and uh, wow, that is incredibly soft feeling. I don't know how you make a leather strap feel that soft. That is uh, is that leather? It's leather on the backside. That thing's crazy. That, that matches this watch better than the factory one does. That's probably actually pretty dang comfortable on that. And a nice bronze hardware. So there's the bronze Tudor. 43 millimeter. A little bit of patina on it. Not bad. Every time I get one of these Tudors, I have to try the bezel. Yeah, they have the best 60 foot bezel in the business. Does it have the indent? I didn't really feel it. I guess it's kind of there. It's not as pronounced, but there's a little indent that, that uh, drops in a little bit better at the uh, top of the cycle there with that bezel on most tutors. So I don't know if it's on all, but it's definitely on most. So great looking watches. Totally different kind of bronze appeal there. Seiko, notice. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to check this out for a minute. Just going to try it out for a little bit. Thanks for watching, guys.